Welcome back to our IB Chemistry video series. This is the second and final video in IB Chemistry Topic 5, Energetics and Thermochemistry, where we will be looking at Hess's Law, Bond Enthalpies and Ozone. Before watching this video, ensure you have watched our previous video in IB Chemistry Topic 5. Hess's law states that the enthalpy change accompanying a chemical reaction is independent of the pathway between the initial and final states. But what does this mean practically? Well, if we want to calculate the enthalpy change for a reaction, but don't have access to enthalpy values for the constituents, we can use known enthalpy changes of subreactions to find the overall enthalpy change. Let's talk through an example. Calculate the enthalpy change for C plus 2H2 plus a half O2 goes to C3OH given the following equations. First, flip the given equations around so that the products and reactants match the overall equation, being sure to flip the sign of delta H for each. So, in the first equation, methanol is a reactant when it should be a product, so we flip it. Then, in the second and third equation, the species align, so we leave them. Second, multiply any equations to match the desired quantity of products and reactants. So, in the first and second equation, nothing is done. In the third equation, there is only one hydrogen, but two are required. So, we multiply the equation and its enthalpy by two, to give minus 572. Third, Add all the equations together and cancel all common terms. If you have done things right, you should get the same equation as the overall one. So here, cancel the carbon dioxide on the right in equation 2 and on the left in equation 1. Cancel the water on the left in equation 1 and on the right in equation 2. Summate the 1 oxygen from reaction 2 and 3 to give 2 oxygens, which cancel with the 1.5 oxygens in equation 1 to leave 0.5 oxygens as we require. Finally, to calculate delta H, you therefore simply add the values of delta H for each equation you use after flipping or multiplying. So here, 676 plus negative 394 plus negative 572, which equals minus 290 kilojoules. Let's look at an example question. Given that the enthalpy of combustion of carbon is minus 394 kilojoules per mole, of hydrogen is minus 286 kilojoules per mole, and of ethane is minus 1561 kilojoules per mole, what is the standard enthalpy change of formation of ethane? First, write equations to show the enthalpy of combustion for each molecule. Remember your definition, it is for one mole being combusted. So, C plus O2 goes to CO2, H2 plus 0.5 O2 goes to H2O, and C2H6 plus 3.5 O2 goes to 2CO2 plus 3H2O. Now, write an equation for the enthalpy of formation of ethane. Remember your definition, it's formation of one mole. So, 2C plus 3H2O goes to C2H6. So, we can flip the last equation so C2H6 is on the correct side. Remember, this flips the sign of enthalpy. Now, we can multiply the first by 2 and the second by 3 to balance the reactants. Don't forget to multiply their enthalpy values too. Now, we can add together and cancel to give the enthalpy of formation equation. To find enthalpy of formation, we then simply add the values of delta H for each equation used after flipping or multiplying. So, negative 788 plus negative 858 plus 1561, which gives negative 85 kilojoules per mole. So, you can now find enthalpy change in most situations. But what about bond enthalpies? You've now reached the end of the preview for this IB Science video. If you want to check out the full video, head over to our website and select a membership plan today.